This video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery. Using App Gallery to make in-game purchases in Dragonair Silent Gods will give you at least 15%, up to 25% cashback. And it's really easy to use. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I will have a download link in the description. You will have to install App Gallery and HMS Core. Once you download these two applications, you can open up App Gallery and register in Huawei ID. And in here, you will have to go to settings and switch the country and region to France. It's only available in Europe, so you will have to use Euro or real-time exchange rate. And once you did that, you can go to search bar and search for Dragonair. You can open up Dragonair inside App Gallery. And once you've done that, all the packs in the game will give you at least 15% cash back. So if you want some discount on in-game purchases, I highly recommend using Huawei App Gallery. All right, guys, welcome back to another Dragonair video. In this video, I want to do a showcase for the Poison team, right? Uh, on this account, I'm still on season one because different server have different timeline of each season. So this is the last seven day of season one. We have the end game here. This is the Dragon Boss, the final Dragon Boss of season one and uh i've been doing a lot of damage a lot of damage and and one of my previous video i actually said that poison affinity is my least favorite affinity well today maybe i'm gonna prove myself wrong because poison affinity not poison affinity but one champion in poison affinity is actually insanely good that's low tier um I made a video saying that he is the worst tier 1 exclusive legendary in the game but maybe I was wrong, maybe I was wrong. The reason I said that is just that there's not a single content in the game where his skill kit can really be useful, right? Like this is an AoE skill and uh, usually AoE skill is good in arena but he's actually not that good in arena, he dies so easily. Right, he deal poison damage. Poison is not good in arena, and across all the PVE content in the game, there's just not a single area you need AOE damage, except Goblin. But Goblin is really whatever, right? Every dungeon, guild boss, other world exploration, you all need single target damage. But this place is different because this dragon boss has three targets in. Yeah, it has three targets, maybe two of his claws and one head, right? So this is three target and poison affinity is actually insane in this place. And it deals probably similar damage compared to ice. All right, I have one last attempt left. I want to make a video about this attempt. Uh, my ice team were able to do 170 million damage and my poison team can do the same damage, but 60% damage from that 170 million is from the single champion that is low tier i'm gonna showcase this team right now i know this is a pay to win pay to win team right but just showing you guys how broken low tier is you can see some um very very pay to win inspiration but it's not necessary at all because like i said most of the damage is gonna come from this champion the other champion on the team is basically here to support low tier so Let's just take a look how good this team is, right? Maybe I will fast forward the clip. Okay, let's see. Look at this damage jump. 70% of the damage come, comes from low tier. And this team does a lot of damage here. Right, 30 seconds in 7 million already so this is have gonna be at least 150 million overall look at this every time Lothier use his ultimate his damage get a huge boost by the way if you're using poison team and you want to use Lothier on the team one champion you absolutely cannot pair him with is uh jamata because jamata removes all the poison from the boss you just cannot use Jamata with Lothier. And Lothier's passive is like, he needs to have a lot of poison buff on the boss for it to work, right? So I'm just gonna let it run. 
for seven more minutes and see what my damage looks like. All right, be right back. Alright, look at that. Look at this damage. Is this a record damage? Probably not, but this is very high damage, right? Almost 200 million damage from a single team. By the way, the daily reward, the top reward is 140 million damage. And you can use 6 teams, right? This is one single team doing, what, 188 million, 189 million damage. From the poison team and if we take a look at damage 51.8 is from Lothier and this guy uh, Durego like this guy's super super good if you want to use Lothier have good damage on Lothier you kind of need to have this champion you don't need any inspiration though because his basic attack is gonna apply poison right he can apply a lot of poisons and Lothier's passive is um the more poison the target has he's gonna apply extra damage and the other one, honestly, doesn't really matter. It can be any other poison champion. But these two, like, they need to go together. <laughs> That's how it is. They need to go together. Right? And you need one healer or one tank. That's uh, at least how I feel. Maybe you don't. Uh, but I use one tank and one healer um, for this dragon boss. So, yeah, this is probably the highest damage I've ever seen on my account. It has surpassed my uh, ice team. My ice team did, like, 170 million damage. Um, which is great. Because Ice, I think it has the best AoE damage in the game. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of crazy, like low tier. So overall, I just feel like low tier is probably a great, great champion. The problem of low tier is uh, there is just not any other content in the play in a game that he can really shine, right? He has this great passive. If the enemy is under poison, he's gonna do more damage, and. And the Durego is gonna apply AoE poison, and he's a like this skill is gonna be insane on the AoE, right? So, yeah, I really hope the developers can add more dungeon that has AoE combat, because currently there's no other AoE combat from dungeon other than the Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer really doesn't matter that much, right? So, yeah, I think it's a really really cool champion. Like I said, developers, please add some AoE area so the poison team can be good. Because right now, poison team is not that useful, to be honest, right? Uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for the quick video. By the way, I kind of also want to mention Jamata, Jathala, Jathalia, sorry. Um, yeah, this this champion, man. I just have complicated feeling about this champion. <laughs> like this passive here, like most of content in the game right guild boss other world exploration like all the important single target content in the game the boss doesn't have doesn't really have an hp bar they have infinite hp so this passive is basically useless so yeah they need to either change this passive or change the way that boss fight works in this game all right and this thing here removes all the poison 
Yeah, that's so weird. Like, like I just feel like this charm is really hard to use. Um, yeah, it's really hard to use. Anyways, I'll finish the video here. Wish you guys good luck. Right on the season two, a uh, season two. I'll make more season two videos soon, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Bye.